You have just won 1,000 pounds. You have just won thirty two thousand pounds. Just one a million pounds. Now let's look at the codes. Yeah, um, right at the beginning, I've actually declared SAPIs, and that's where that's just used to convert text to speech. But from one load, the following will be loaded, which include the, the millionaire background sound that you guys hear and here are the six picture boxes that we used now the label used for the questions and the check boxes used for the answers the command box the command button here was actually incremented by one the text on it is zero, set to zero. Why it is uh, every time you click on it, it incremented by one. So and that's how it goes. So when you look at the, the button, 
there's only one button there and that's just the code for the button which is very very easy okay it's more or less I'm just repeating the same thing okay making it visible and true okay guys so you should be able to do that it's, it's very very easy you just look at the code practice you know play around with the code you should be able to find your way around it that's why I'm showing you guys a code now and the continue a continuation of the codes scroll down more on uh, the button okay and more okay so all that is just happening there is if the uh, button one equals number 13 then the following image it was true and then uh, this question is called okay this function there's a function you how you since so you will see the function in a minute okay so let's go down and that's all for the command button okay so now let's go to picture box one that's picture box one what I've just done here in picture box one is if this is zero the following images image should be visible <coughs> should be loaded onto picture box one else this should be loaded this is the one with the X so anytime it's clicked you will see the X sign which means uh, that image has been used I believe this is the image width the 5050 that's why there's 5050 there <coughs> sorry about that and the button is one the following is false 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 okay and so on guys I believe you must be good in programming so you should understand what's here this is just to reduce the hard work that you will have to put in because I put in a lot of hard work to this to get it right so for you guys you get it for nothing okay so this is a uh, continuation of it and now I'll come to picture box 3 the same thing here in picture box I actually use a randomization to select any name if the telephone is clicked okay so that 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 have another look at it using select case okay now picture box 2 uh, that's very easy just to get the people you know just members of the audience once that is click members of the audience show up she show up so the most important part of it is the question okay which is the the label is for the questions the checkbox I actually use the checkbox for the answers but I did change the property the appearance of the checkbox to what is known as a uh, button so it's not exactly in the form of uh, checkbox but it's in the form of button so which is why easy that's it right there so we look at the appearance if you look at the appearance right here let me just go there let's see the appearance I select that. It's an idea. It's taking forever to load up. Let's see the property. You can see the property of this uh, checkbox. It's right here. And the appearance. I changed the appearance from normal to button. Let me change it back to normal. Can you see that? It's now in this form. Okay. okay let me check it back to the bottom because that's what I want. Appearance. That's one appearance. That's the right there. Back to bottom. You see that? And when you look at this button, you see? 
the value in the text of the button is zero. That's why I have been able to increment it to by one. And I actually embed a picture there. So let me continue with the code. Okay, question one, that's my first question. Okay, come back down. Question two, it's right there. You can see it's exactly the same. Only the only thing changed there is just a question. But uh, the button is incremented by one. The same thing here. Okay, that's very easy. All right. Question five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, guys. Now, for each of those check box, what I've done is as follows if the uh, button one equals one and check box the check equals true then change the color to gold else the color will remain red anyway that's what happened to all of them okay just exactly the same thing so here if the answer is wrong this color is all right okay you can see they are red and the system will just drop you back to one <coughs> All right, that's all for the coding bit. I believe you guys should be able to have a good look at the codes and just uh, make something very beautiful out of it. But don't you forget to to give credit to me for the hard work that I've put in, and also remember to sub uh, subscribe, please. Right, the next part of, of the code is uh, checkbox two, exactly the same thing as say checkbox one. Okay, if it's true, what happened? And if it's false, give me a red sign and drop the system back to start all over. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now let's go back, let's keep going. Just giving you guys time to see the codes so that you can make good use of it. Just like I said, subscribe so that I can produce more video. Okay, that's 15. Checkbox 3, the same thing, but here I've used SAPI. Sapi was declared as a global variable to read out the following. You have won 1,000 pounds. You have won 32,000 pounds. And she also said you have won a million. That's Sapi right there. You have won a million. Okay. If you get the 15 questions right, this is what you get. And read out by SAPI. So, but if the answer is wrong, you will get this. Alright, guys. So, that's all. Well, let's just go to the end of the program so that you can see the codes. That's the codes, guys. Sorry if I'm a bit too fast. Okay, you can see it now. Yeah, checkbox four. Okay, only two answers are right there, and how many are wrong about? I believe it's almost twelve wrong here. Okay, that's it, guys. It's very similar, very easy. Okay, all right, so you have fun with this coding. Subscribe so that more video will be out there for you guys to have a look at. So, 
I'll be quoting, folks. Bye.